Good evening, Cyber Friends. Midi Man coming back at some Walker's Music. Word for the day. I give a shout out to the YouTube fam from Baby Justice. All the way to Big Papa JT with Mama JT. Y'all know the routine. To the end time Harvest Gang, Brother LA, King of Knowledge, all of you. You know what you, you know what time it is. I've got to give my brother LA's uh, shout out for the end time Harvest Gang. In other words, we know Brother L.A. gave us our mission statement. We watch and we share as to not get caught unaware of Jesus Christ. Second return. I was telling, uh, I was letting a, a friend of mine, an old friend of mine, Flo, know about the mission statement. And uh, so, like I said, Brother L.A., we, we give you honor, man. We, we appreciate what you're doing, too. Tonight, I want to come back and I want to uh, say to our brother J.T., uh, man, we, we sorry, Doc. We got our condolences and everything, uh, about your, I saw your video about your uncle and everything. And you know what time it is with that, man. We Death is something that we are never going to understand on this side. We're never going to understand it. It's always new. There's no sense in telling people nothing. And I, you know, I got this thing about myself, man. That I've been like this here for as long as I can remember. You know, when people, when there was death in families and things, especially one that I knew about, I would wait a few days before I could even even say anything, man, because, you know, you don't want to say something crazy, you know. People want to call you up and ask you how you feel. You know, that, that to me, that's, 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 that's kind of, you know, <laughs> you know that, that's kind of, why ask people how they feel like that, you know. I don't know, I, and so that's how come I never did. I always waited a few days, man, uh, to, before I even contacted the family of people that I knew. But nevertheless, man, I'm just telling you, you know, you and your family, y'all just keep your head up. And, you know, Papa JT, Mama JT, you know, where y'all just keep your head up and keep your hand in God's hand. And uh, God will make everything all right. That's best that man know what to say. Nothing else to be said. I ain't going to tell you that. What, nothing else but that. Also, we want to keep our little brother Orange Flavor in, 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 uh, in prayer. We keep him lifted up that God will renew his strength. And his family, to all of them, everyone that might be going through a situation, because believe it or not, everybody, one way or another, they are going through something, Dr. Jack, they are going through something, if you're in this world, you're going through something, now, I don't care, it may not be, mine may not be what yours is, yours may not be what mine is, but nevertheless, that something is still the something, so tonight I was, really, I'm, I'm doing this video, I didn't do one, for some reason, I didn't do one earlier this morning. I had, I, I decided that I wouldn't let do one until just now, and so I decided to come on and do this video before I do my blog talk show for the night, if the Lord will, which that about another hour or so. And I wanted to speak on, and I think I'm going to continue it into the blog talk radio. Let everybody know we were speaking about it. My title of this video is Jesus was portrayed. Jesus was betrayed by his own people. Jesus was betrayed and killed by his own people. And uh, we, a lot of people have blamed the Romans, and, you know, the Romans were in power at that time. It was the world power at that time. But if we could remember correctly, Pilate wanted to let Jesus go. Yes, he did. According to the scripture, Pilate said, I find no fault in him, and he wanted to let him go. But if you remember, it was the Jewish religious leaders, those Pharisees and Sadducees. They are the ones, the rulers and the keepers of the law, the ones that sat in Moses' seat. They were jealous of Jesus. And because the people flocked to Jesus, the people loved Jesus. Yes, they did. And that's how come they had to go about doing the thing the way they did it. They did it devious. If you really want to look at this, the story, gold, they did it very devious the way they went to him and they got him by night. Because the people would not have let them took him in that opening. And we see that it was his own people that destroyed him. His own disciples that betrayed him. Judas is scary. That lets us know, you know, that uh, sometime in our lives, sometimes the people that you have to be careful because sometimes the people that we are most close to sometimes. I know I had to, I didn't experience more than once. But nevertheless, I counted all that as a blessing because it was an eye opener. I tell you, it was a one of my dear, dear my friends, and I called her my mom. Really, she passed away when I was in going to college back in '87, I think it was. Her name was Lavanya Rivers, and I never will forget her as long as I may live. And she always used to tell me. She said, 
She was saying, Ernest, she's I'm gonna tell you something. She said, a lot of times when God reveals things to you like that, He what He'll do, God will do two one or two things when you believe when you belong to Him. And He He knows how to deliver His truth. He said, When trouble comes to you, God will do one or two things for you. He'll either remove the trouble away from you or he'll remove you away from the trouble. So I came to know exactly what she meant by that because there are certain people, and you know I think I did a video once not too long ago, and I explained to everybody, that, and I even put a message up on Facebook. Everybody that comes into your life, they don't come there to stay. They come there for a season. Some people follow Jesus because of the fish and the loaves. And, 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 and some people follow you, you know, just because of something for what they can get or for something they are, they have ulterior motive. But nevertheless, everybody doesn't come in your life to stay. They're there for, for a specific task or a reason. And when that task and that season is over, then they're gone. Everybody doesn't come into our lives to stay. They're not, it's not designed that way. So be careful how you choose people that, you know, Jesus had 12 disciples, but he had three. That was in that inner circle. It was three. That was Peter, James, and John. Now, I don't know nothing about the rest of the disciples. I don't even know too much about Peter, James, and John other than what I read in their epistles. That they were one of the three of the closest disciples to Jesus. But that lets me know that everybody, you got to see, like I said, we got many acquaintances, but we got very few friends. This is the first problem that we, we have. We, because a lot of times, everybody we come across, oh, that's my friend, that's my friend. No, that's not your friend, that's an associate. That's a difference between an associate and a friend. But we're not going to go there. But I'm just letting everybody see that this is what this is what Jesus was trying to get us to see. When he be moving people out of your life, it's, it's for your good. It's not, a lot of times it's not, it's not that he's trying to expose people. No, no, because God don't work that way. It is the people have played their purpose for your life. In other words, if I meet somebody today and they stay with me six months, it's for a reason. God got them there because it's something, a specific task they got that they got to play in my life at that particular time. And once that, that part is played out, they're going on it and I go my way. Everybody that comes into our lives are not our friends and everybody that comes into our lives are not meant there to be there for to stay. So we just must remember that Jesus was betrayed and killed by his own people. It, it, Romans carried it out because it, they, they didn't have the power. The Jews didn't have the power to take anybody's life. They couldn't perform no execution because if they could have, they would have done it themselves. But it was not that, that the Romans, don't be so bad on the Romans. The Romans just carried out what they wanted. It was his own people. Judas Iscariot, his own, his own disciple, the betrayer, he gave him over to the, to the Jewish authorities. And then the Jewish authorities, they went to the Roman authorities, mainly Pilate, to get the execution carried out. Because really they were jealous of our Lord and Savior. They were jealous and they called themselves righteous. It's like a lot of us do today, y'all. We can't just blame them either because a lot of us, we sit in Moses' seat too sometime and we feel that we are we are righteous and righteous right well. I'm only righteous because Jesus is righteous. There ain't nothing good in me, man. Nothing. And I'm subject to do anything tomorrow, just as well as they are anybody. Because if it wasn't for the grace of God, which is Jesus, that keeps us all, we are just one step away from the mess that we used to be in. So don't get too big, Richard. Remember, don't let your head get too big for your hat. And with that being said, Many man going to end this here right here, but I may take this up a little bit later, more in detail on the blog talk radio broadcast tonight. So with that being said, remember, Brother JT, Papa JT, Mama JT, all of y'all, we got our best. Keep your head up. Keep your, keep, your, keep your hopes up. Keep your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Also to our brother Orange Flavor and his family, y'all do likewise. Everybody that's going through anything. Whatever it might be, that's a that. But keep your hand in God's hand and everything will be all right. That being said, it's been a man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God is not in it, it's best that you come on out of it. This is the man saying peace. Goodbye.